The MX-5 is our most basic milling machine within the MX series. Yet even this basic milling machine can be converted to an MX-7, Omega, or Da Vinci. Additionally, it can be turned into several RPD, removable partial denture machines. The conversion can be done in the comfort of your own lab, taking only minutes and using simple tools. This is the platform or base that all MX series are built on. So we call it the universal platform or the universal base. The rest of the components can be considered as modules. Let me explain that. This is the model tilting module and it can be easily installed. Quite a few years ago, we made an engineering decision to pursue the modular concept. Simply put, start with a base and add interchangeable modules to it, allowing configuration and reconfiguration over and over. If you bought an MX-5 based on your needs at that time and now have a call for more sophisticated milling procedures, you don't have to buy a new milling machine. You just upgrade with the module components that give you the capabilities that you require. If you're familiar with us, you probably know that we constantly are coming out with new and innovative products. And those products for the MX series are backward compatible. That means that even though the product is brand new, it still can be used on an older MX machine, including the MX-5. Now we'll show you something even more unique. Modules that were part of the original MX-5 can be used on current MX series. That would make the MX series forward compatible. Let me show you. We'll start by removing the electric motor and its arm. and replace it with the arm for the high-speed air motor. The round disc you see mounted in the model holder is our practice model. If you go to our video page, you can see more on its application. This is the high-speed air motor that originally came with the MX-5. Removing the air motor and its arm takes only seconds. Let's return again to the platform. We'll now install the handrest. Position the handrest on the platform so that the holes align. Next, insert the MX-5's column. Securely lock it in place with the two set screws on the back side of the base. We now have functioning and adjustable handrest. The handrests are triple jointed and will follow or track the movement of the motor. Remove the motor shaft from the MX-5's primary arm. Next, we'll install the secondary jointed arm. This arm will be placed between the primary arm, the arm on the column, and the motor arm. This is the bearing assembly. It consists of a bearing, 
sandwiched between two precision washers. Slide the bearing assembly on the shaft of the secondary arm and insert it in the primary arm. Now insert the second or lower bearing assembly on the shaft and lock it in place with the collar. Snap on the black cap. The secondary arm is now installed. And all we've used so far are Allen wrenches to tighten set screws. We're almost there. All we need is the motor and the motor arm. Although we're showing it with the electric motor, the air motor could be installed just as easily. I'm sure you'll agree, the modular concept makes a lot of sense for now and in the future. On our video page, we have short, instructive videos on various aspects of the MX series. The web address is www.ferraro, that's F E R R A R O hyphen dental dot com. Click on the blue button in the milling machines video window. Take special notice to the secondary or the middle arm. How it adds to the fluid movement of the motor arm. This triple jointed arm is what makes our milling machines so unique.